This is one of the Indian teepees from this area. This is what they'd build out of the bark and live in. I'm not going to go all the way in because there's spiders in there. I don't know if you can see all the way in. And the ceiling. I don't have a light with me, a flashlight, or a light on my camera. And here is the grinding rock. There's a petroglyphs. Petroglyphs. Over here. And the women would come out here and grind all of their wheat and their food, acorns and whatnot, in these holes. Look how deep some of them are. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. Look how deep those are. That's from years and years of grinding. 450 holes or 485 holes. That's a lot of holes. And I think at one time there might have been water that ran down through here. Here's another of the teepees that's here. They lived here in this valley. They probably hunted deer and whatever other animals they could find. Squirrel, rabbit, snake. They ate all kinds of stuff. But for them, that was normal. Here's the oak trees and they'd get acorns and grind them up. There goes us a squirrel. Look at him. Hi there, little guy. Made himself at home at the grinding right rock. I was always wanting to see this. It's fascinating to me. Let's see what's down here. It says, please do not walk on grinding rock. Kind of ditched Chris off in the corner there. He's checking stuff out. Not really ditched him. Look at this tree that's growing up in the middle of the grinding rock. Look at this here. This is the old grinding rock stone, just like up there. Straight bedrock that they dug in. There must have been a creek or something that ran through here at one time. We're real close to here. To have even enough water in this valley to live on. Bedrock over here. An old oak tree on the side of the bedrock. Well, I grew up around the side of that tree. Find a tree right over top of the rock. Isn't that neat? Here are the birds out here. It's beautiful out here. Quiet, beautiful. Hundreds of hundreds of grinding holes and I don't know what other animals are out here. Hopefully nothing that's gonna taste me or mountain lion or bear. Little birds down on the ground just digging for food. Look at the, see the middle pit right here? This is where I believe there might have been water coming down at one point. Maybe then they washed their food in there. I'm not sure. But it looks like there might have been a runoff here at one time. Look how deep the rock comes down. Looks like a lava rock that just melted down into it. Is there anybody here that would like to come out and say hello? I, myself, am Choctaw and Iroquoian. Six nations of Indian in my family. Chickasaw, Seminole, Pawnee, and Powhatan. And, uh, 
we have quite a bit of family still in Oklahoma. So to see something this beautiful out here for me is a treasure that they have kept preserved very well. Here's another piece of the grinding rock. They have a little sign saying, please don't walk on the grinding rock so they can preserve it. And there's quite a bit of trails here. You can come and walk the trails or maybe bike the trails if you have a bicycle. You want to walk to the long house? 